so now if so we have Hooke's law and that is the force with which the spring is pulling the mass in now if we do not have this force anymore so we only have we bring the uh, mass up to here and we let it go so we don't have this force so this force is this the spring is going to pull it inwards and as it pulls it inwards it's going to accelerate because we have the equation f would be equal or fs will create an acceleration to the left and uh, the force will equal ma and we have fs equals minus kx from Hooke's law and therefore we can say that ma is going to be equal to minus kx now the acceleration is the second derivative of position so it's m d to x over d t two equals minus k x or d t two d two x over d t two equals minus k over m x. And now we want to solve this differential equation to get x as a function of time. So we'll see that as it's pulling it inwards, where will it be at different intervals of time? Now to solve this equation, we make an, a substitution that omega square equals k over m. And with, the, with this substitution, the equation becomes d2x over dt2 equals minus omega square x. So we replace k by m with omega square. Now, so equations of this type are solved uh, by usually by a sine or a cosine function. So we can assume that it's solved by a function that looks like this, a cosine and it's omega and it's a function of time, so it will be omega t and there can also be a constant term here. Now to make sure that this is a correct solution, we will substitute this value of x here and we will put the second derivative of x over here and we'll see if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So to do that, we first take the first derivative, which will be a, and the cosine will, will have a derivative of sine omega t plus phi with a negative sign, and then the derivative of what's inside, which is an omega. And then the second derivative, d2x over dt2 is going to be uh, minus a and the derivative of sine is going to be cosine omega t plus phi and we have the original omega and when we differentiate this we get another omega so we get omega square now this part is the same as this part so this is simply x and we have the omega square and that becomes d2x over dt2 so the second derivative is minus omega square x or x omega square which is the same as what we started with and therefore this is a correct solution.